is my fear. There's nothing normal here. People called me lame. My life was a big mess. Asperger's wasn't all addressed. My self-esteem went way down. They'd say, what are you staring at? Dropped out of school for that. And my crazy parents. Growing up, I wasn't safe. It's me, it's me. They called me crazy. into my eyes. I'd say that this book really kind of just showed me things in a new light because usually kids who misbehave and are naughty, they just, they're attention seeking or something of the sort. But um, the guy who wrote this, John Elder Robinson, um, the guy who wrote this, he just, he had Asperger's, and he was considered a social deviant because Asperger's wasn't a thing back then, so, um, he was just another one of these attention-seeking kids out there, and, um, of course, there were a lot of other factors to his misbehavior, like how his parents were crazy, and how he had to take care of a brother all on his own, basically. So that would make me kind of crazy. I think the part of this memoir that especially showed what his story meant to him was how all throughout his life he's done the same sort of things, like constantly moving, being exceptionally gifted, not looking people in the eyes, and he's always gotten the same results. Um, which usually weren't very good. Uh, so that actually, like, that sort of also shows the readers what he really is, or what he supposedly is, a social deviant. Um, and he actually just has Asperger's, but nobody knows. And I imagine when he found out, it was just like one of those, oh, it all makes sense now moments. But, um, imagine living your whole life without knowing, like, 
what you look like. It's kind of like that, sort of, I guess. Um, so thank you for watching the video.